All right, so let's say uh, x follows a person uh, with main being 8, right? So and now here's the thing. Let's say uh, we are discussing about number of accidents uh, that occur in a week on the highway. Let's say uh, it's that. And the number of accidents that occur in a week, the lambda for that is 8. So if I have to find probability of x equals to 5, say the probability of mm. 5 accidents occurring in a week, this will simply be e to power minus 8 in, into 8 is to power 5 upon 5 factorial, right? But this is again 5 accidents in a week. What if it says, um, let's say, 1 accident on Monday right so our lambda right now is for a week and we need to find the probability of an of one accident occurring on Monday so here we need to adjust our lambda according to the time that's been considered here previously the lambda 8 was for the entire week but now uh, it's for just one day now let's say the week, uh, it's a five day week from Monday to Friday, right? Uh, to make things simpler. So it's a five day week and in that five day, uh, in, in that five day week, the lambda, f the mean for the number of accidents occurring is eight. So now we're considering a day. So I will adjust my lambda to a day. So if, if in a five day week it's eight, for a day, my lambda will be 1.6 right and now I need to find the probability of x equals to 1 which will simply be e to power minus 1.6 into 1.6 to power 1 simply of 1 1 factorial right right so this is adjusting your lambda according to the time that's being considered now let's say um, it says Another example, let's say it says uh, um, eight breakdowns in a fortnight, right? So let's say it says that. So a fortnight is basically two weeks. So now, let me just write this down. Um, probability of eight, sorry, eight accidents. Eight accidents. in a fortnight right so now x follows a person so for a, for a, for one week the lambda was 8 for two weeks this will be 16 and now it's a x equals to 8 so this will be e to power minus 16 into 16 is to power 8 upon 8 factorial 8 factorial right and then you can simply get the answer so this is another concept adjusting your lambda according uh, to the time space or interval being considered right so you need to adjust your lambda every time otherwise you'll get your answer wrong now our final discussion for Poisson distribution is approximations approximations now one approximation is going from a binomial from a binomial to a Poisson now let's say x follows a binomial with n150 and let's say p is 0 0.003 now the conditions for sorry the conditions for uh, uh, an approximation from a binomial distribution to a Poisson distribution are simply n 
greater must be greater than 50 and NP must be less than 5 so if these two conditions meet then you can approximate a binomial to a Poisson in this case we can uh, easily do that because uh, n is 150 definitely greater than one uh, greater than 50 and p is 0 0.003 so np will be in this case np equals to 150 into 0 0.003 equals to 0. 0.45 so np is 0 0.45 so x follows a Poisson with lambda equals to 0 sorry lambda equals to 0 0.45 right np is less than 5 n is greater than 50 i can easily approximate my binomial to a Poisson distribution now when you move from a discrete distribution to a discrete distribution uh, we do not we do not uh, uh, do continuity correction because we are just moving from a discrete distribution to a discrete distribution so when you move from a discrete distribution to a discrete distribution you know continuity correction no continuity correction right because you're simply moving from a discrete to a discrete now the other approximation is approximating a Poisson to a normal Now, the condition for this is that lambda needs to be greater than 15. This is where uh, the central limit theorem comes in place. The lamb if the lambda is high, the lambda is large, you can approximate the, an, a Poisson to a normal distribution, right? So let's say x follows a Poisson with lambda 20. So what we'll do is x follows a normal. Now, in a lambda, uh, in a Poisson distribution, the mean is uh, lambda, the variance is lambda. So this will be so mu is lambda, variance is lambda, 